If it's happened once, it's happened a thousand times. You just spent several hours reorganizing your action figure collection, and then suddenly, somehow, there's just not enough light in the room, and it's getting worse. You're not gonna just walk all the way over to the other side of the room and turn the lights on, so you have no choice but to stand there and wait for the sun to come back up. If you're tired of this daily inconvenience, then do I have a list for you? Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is the 10 best glow-in-the-dark action figures. Number 10 is 2015 Spin Master Toys DreamWorks Dragon's Bone Napper Dragon. As featured in the 15-minute Legend of the Bone Napper Dragon short that was included with the How to Train Your Dragon DVD release in 2010, the Bone Napper Dragon is just that, a dragon that steals bones. It steals bones to create a patchwork and nightmarish suit of armor to keep its delicate hide safe from attackers and the elements in general. The 2015 Bone Napper isn't as detailed or as articulated as the 2010 version, and the bone armor is not removable, but the concept itself is more than enough to sell the figure as a triple threat, dragon, skeleton, and glow-in-the-dark. Number 9 is 2015 Toys R Us exclusive Mezco Mortal Kombat X Raiden glow-in-the-dark variant. The most successful glow-in-the-dark figures, the pieces that rise to the top of a very competitive field, are the ones that utilize glow-in-the-dark in a way that makes sense with the character's powers, their costume, or, as is also the case with this figure, bypass the gentle touch of careful design and just cast the whole thing in glowing green plastic. Raiden's powers are electric. Glowing makes total sense for him, but most importantly, he's a six-inch figure with great articulation, alternate hands, and his entire body and all his accessories glow-in-the-dark. Number 8 is 2006 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Kyoto Revoltech Evangelion Unit 01 Glow-in-the-Dark Variant. A very limited run, available only for the 2006 San Diego Comic-Con. It's super rare, which means it's expensive, but it's a glow-in-the-dark variant of the regular super-articulated Revoltech Unit 1, which was already a good figure, especially for 2006. Over a decade later, it still holds up incredibly well, which I can attest to having just recently acquired a pair of regular non-glow-in-the-dark pieces from this line. Like Raiden, it's glow-in-the-dark from head to toe and comes with accessories that also glow-in-the-dark. If you see one, I suggest you buy it. And if you see two, yo, hook me up. Number 7 is 2005 Sota Toys AFX exclusive Street Fighter Blanca glow-in-the-dark variant. Soda Toys Street Fighter line of figures commands secondary prices that will make you question your dedication to the brand. Blanca is another example of the convergence of action figure gimmick and character powers. He was issued in six different variations, one of which was Glow in the Dark, which embodies his electric powers. In addition to the already finely sculpted, chunky figure, his accessories glow in the dark, which means that you get a glow in the dark slice of watermelon, a glow in the dark human skull, and a glow-in-the-dark pineapple. These are the good things, like things you just don't see anymore. Where did we lose our way? When did this industry lose sight of what was really important? Number six is 2015 Mattel Masters of the Universe Classics Spirit of Grayskull. Powers and character combined, a full-body glow, glow-in-the-dark accessories. Mattel just grabs onto that glow-in-the-dark gimmick with both hands and does not let go. An already impressive figure, an important license, a ghostly spirit character. All it's missing is a glow-in-the-dark, everything else Masters of the Universe. Number 5 is 2014 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Gentle Giant 24-inch Jumbo Alien. Gentle Giant has been producing throwback figures for several years now. And not just any throwback figures, but enlarged throwback figures. They are known for taking like 40 of the old Kenner 3 and 3 quarter inch Star Wars figures and blowing them up to 12 inches. Here they took the old Kenner 18 inch alien and added 6 inches in height. But size wasn't enough to make it a truly special exclusive. It's molded in glow-in-the-dark plastic, which makes this thing an incredible standout of an action figure. Two feet tall, all that glow-in-the-dark material, you could probably use it as a primary light source in case of emergency if you can afford it. It was limited to 250 pieces, so maybe pay your electric bill instead? Number four is 2004 Toy Biz Lord of the Rings Return of the King, King of the Dead. Ghosts and electricity are common threads with glow-in-the-dark figures. In this case, it's the glowing spectral King of the Dead from Lord of the Rings Return of the King, a six-inch scale figure from back in the day when Toy Biz was laying the foundation for what the next two decades of action figure manufacturing would look like. 
an abundance of articulation with incredible detail, and in this case, a skeletal zombie ghost monarch in glowing armor. It's contextual, it's a zombie, his sword fits in his sheath, his helmet is removable, and you don't even have to like Lord of the Rings to appreciate it. Number three is NECA 2016 Stalker Predator, 2015 SDCC Endoglow Terminator Endoskeleton, and 2012 Night Fighter Robocop. Three figures produced by NECA with the kind of modern sculpting detail and six inch scale that NECA is known for. All three callbacks, homages, updates to Kenner figures from back in the 80s and 90s. Stalker Predator is a standout with his alien xenomorph armor, spikes all over the place, his body is glow in the dark, and the eyes and horns on his removable helmet glow as well. I don't think glowing helps with the secret stalking thing, but I'll admit I'm no expert. The 2015 SDCC exclusive Endo Glow Endoskeleton is a robot skeleton from the future with glow in the dark skull and casings, words ordered like poetry flowing forth from my face. 2012's Night Fighter Robocop increases the size of the figure and the accuracy of the sculpting detail as compared to the 1989 counterpart. There's a slight improvement to the articulation, but the NECA figure actually tones down the amount of glow in the dark on the Robocop figure and makes it a potentially tragic error by not giving him a Gatling gun arm and removable helmet. It's rare that the vintage figure is better than the modern one, and it's even rarer that I make a change to a list on the fly mid-sentence, but here we are. Number three is actually NECA 2016 Stalker Predator, 2015 SDCC Endo Glow Terminator Endoskeleton, and 1989 Kenner Robocop Night Fighter. Number two is 2017 Mezco 112 Collective Space Ghost Glow in the Dark Variant. If your name has the word ghost, spirit, specter, phantom, there's a really great chance that your action figure is going to get a glow-in-the-dark release. Plus, Space Ghost's powers all have a glowing energy effect that was intended to be rendered in glow-in-the-dark. Space Ghost checks off the ghost name, the energy-based powers, and best of all, his suit, his monkey, and all of his other accessories glow in the dark. He's a near-perfect figure for a classic Hanna-Barbera character, whether you love him for the space superheroics or his 14-year run as a talk show host on Cartoon Network. I almost said glow in the dark show host. That's me, not him. And number one is 2009 Mattel Masters of the Universe classic Scareglow and all the Scareglows. There's no better character to top off a list of the best glow-in-the-dark action figures than the skeleton-faced guy with the word glow in his name. Originally introduced in 1987 during the late stages of the vintage line, he's a highly sought-after piece these days, especially complete with his cape and halberd. He's been featured in the modern 6-inch classics line, Motu Minis, Funko Pops, and Dorbs, and is coming soon to Super 7's 4-inch 5POA reaction line. Glow-in-the-dark bones, purple cape, a scythe of doom, and a tiny castle grayskull skeleton key shackled to his wrist, Scareglow is the must-have glow-in-the-dark figure. Those are the 10 best glow-in-the-dark action figures. They're not the only glow-in-the-dark action figures because, trust me, every toy line does glow-in-the-dark. Well, every toy line except Star Wars, Transformers, and G.I. Joe. You know, just everyone else. Thanks for watching. Please hit like. Make sure you are a subscriber. Sometimes YouTube unsubs people just totally randomly and you don't even know it happened. Share this video and let us know down in the comments below what your glow-in-the-dark favorite is. There really are so many really great, fun figures that I had to cut out. I'm going to be posting the list of 30 or 40 action figures that I had to whittle down to make this list on our Patreon, patreon.com slash toygalaxy. If you want to check that out, if you're already a patron, you're all set. If not, join up for a buck. What can you get for a buck these days? A highway toll? This is way better use of your money. Way better. <laughs> Guaranteed. Cut.